Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today, we're gonna do something that I have never done before. We are gonna play the new Insanity Mode difficulty, which is crazy difficult. I've been struggling personally to get like consistent wins on this difficulty, which I love. I love this new difficulty edition. It's been a really fun time to get my ass whooped sometimes. Now, uh, what we're gonna do in this video to make it even harder is to play Insanity Mode on all of the big maps we are gonna play on sunny meadows high school maple lodge and prison on insanity mode which i haven't done a single time so that's gonna be the plan for today let's see if we can do that i hope you join us if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go Alrighty, we got elizabeth brock escape the ghost repel and witness a ghost of it uh this should be doable I think I'm going to start by taking a pill. So you start at 75. If you take one pill, I'm at 95. Because it's going to be a little hard to find the ghost room. And this just gives us a little bit of extra time to do that. I think that's the plan. Hello? We need to find... Oh. Is that an immediate throw? I heard something? Is that upstairs? I think it might be upstairs. I thought I heard a uh, clipboard fall on the ground. Ooh. You give us a sign. This clipboard is fine. I mean, it's basically a no evidence run. Because you only get one evidence. And especially on a big map like this, getting, like, if you have writing, good luck getting writing on prison. If you have, like, a cell block ghost, yeah, I didn't even realize. We could get so screwed here. If you get, like, a bad ghost room, this could be an almost impossible disaster. At least we got the breaker. That's pretty nice. Is there any ghosts here? There are no ghosts. Hello? Oh, 0 0.7? Aha! It's in here. Might be cafeteria or just in this place. You give us a sign. Look back here. I think it is here. The paramic is doing its job. Hello? The ghost scared of me. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what? Well then. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's amazing. That's never happened to me before. Well, that what you just heard was the uh, banshee scream. Uh, it could be a mimic technically, but that would be almost impossible. If it's a mimic... Well, well, because that we'll just go again. I, I am, <laughs> I am floored. What the hell? We can wait. We can use the camera of the prison cells to check for mimic. We could just look at the at the B block cameras. What the hell? <laughs> what, a, what a moment. That's the first time ever that I figured out the ghost right away using the paramic. Yeah, let's quickly check on the cams over here. Because if it is a Mimic, we would get super baited. That would be insanely rare, but it can happen. Let's see. This is B-Block. This is... This is B-Block. Okay, this is actually going to be a little tricky to see orbs here, but we don't see orbs. I could be hiding in the cells over there. But at that point, it's just well played. If this is a Mimic, honestly, I'm floored. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. That is the... <laughs> Let's go, dude. Uh, I love how obvious the Banshee scream is. You always hear people go like, wait, what? How does the Banshee scream sound like? But then they hear it for the first time and they're like instantly no. There you go. It was a Banshee. <laughs> okay, well, that went much easier than I expected. That was a five minute run on prison. All right, I'll take that one. Let's move on to the next one, which uh, I think it, let's do the hardest one. I think Maple Lodge is by far the hardest big map you can play. I think it's the hardest map in the game, period. Let's try it out and see if we can do it on insanity mode. All right. 
You got bro oh my god this this is this is gonna be good <laughs> it's foggy weather at least we don't need a flashlight wait a minute we do not need a flashlight because it is already just light anyway so we can just walk around with this it's like we're playing the game in like limbo mode yeah the Insanity mode only gives one evidence and you start at 75% sanity And now we're gonna get another banshee imagine That was amazing Mr. Breaker, Danny, thank you for that six months What the fuck <laughs> What the hell <laughs> Excuse me? That was awesome. <laughs> what are these ghosts, man? Okay, so it's definitely not a Hantu. Could be a djinn. Because the djinns like the... I mean, they don't turn off the breaker ever. Alright, where are you at? Do we have any hiding spot? Okay, we got this hiding spot. Oh, I heard that. I heard that. Is that on the wall here? Pretty sure it touched these. Did it touch this? No. I thought I heard it touch a tent door. Yeah, the fog on this map is very cool. Can you give us a sign? Hello? We'll turn on more lights. Prevent our sanity from draining through a little bit at least. Look at the moon. Hello? 0 0.3 over at the pier? I don't think that's high enough. Check the room or the, the cabin. I still love, like even though this map is insanely hard, I really love the, that we have this map because it's such a different feeling from all the other maps. This is such a unique map. Present, thank you for the 12 months. Ah! <sighs> what the fuck, dude? This is awesome. I love Phasmo. <laughs> what the hell, dude? This is crazy. <laughs> That's why it never gets old. Okay, so obviously it should be up here or it's some kind of wraith or banshee business. Uh, that's, that's not a bad place to have the ghost. It's just a problem on insanity mode that the ghosts roam a lot. So there's a big chance that we'll uh, have to move around. Because if it roams down to the bottom floor and then hunts from there, we're going to be stuck upstairs and probably die. Can you hide on the kitchen counter? You might be able to. I'm not exactly sure. Grab all of this. Not a phantom, because we got a ghost photo. <laughs> Fuck you. Alright, not a phantom. Not a phantom, not a hauntu. This is also the only room where we can actually get ghost orbs, because ghost orbs in the... Although they did say they fixed it. Supposedly. Supposedly they fixed that you can now see ghost orbs in the fog weather, but I... I don't believe it until I see it. I don't believe it. Beautiful cabin. How the fuck can I see so well with night vision? Well, it's all so bright. Alright, ghosts. Are you still here? Are you in the bathroom? No Orbeez. Can you give us a sign? No sign. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Is the ghost even here? Did I just get wraith without knowing it? 
Hello? Did I just put a window knock? Window knock? Window knock back here. Uh, and fingerprints. What the hell? Wait, they're like almost invisible. <laughs> Let's go. All right, fingerprints. Could be another banshee. What? That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna eat a sanity pill. I need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay, so probably downstairs. That's real creepy. Creepy banshee. It's not a Gorio. Feel back, eh? Probably not a mimic because we didn't see orbs. What the guy's banshee? Jin it could be another banshee. Two banshees? Are you kidding me? Hey, Lair, thank you for the 21 months. Yeah, and ex the Hantu and the Phantom are an option, which is very nice here. Because we rule bo both of those out. Uh, this still... This is actually a decent combo. Poltergeist, we can do during a hunt. Myling, Jin, Demon, Obake during a hunt as well. Probably not a demon because we would have already been hunted. We would have for sure been hunted if it was a demon. It can't be. Double Banshee. Uh, okay. Repel the ghost and escape the ghost. That's perfect. I'm gonna take this. And then, let's see... Smiling. We don't really need anything else. I think we're just gonna take two smudge sticks. I'm not gonna take any pills because we want to get a hunt. That was the ending of RE4. It was very epic. The whole game was super epic. Like, that's 100% game of the year so far. It was so long, too. Very fun. I definitely want to play that again, like, by myself as well. Maybe on the hardest difficulty. What the hell is with these lights? You see this? There's like a light, extra light in the middle. What is this? <laughs> is that because of the fog? Oh. No? Uh, television? There's a door, check. I'm gonna smudge one time. Oh. I don't know. Can we look for fingies? Another fingy? Another thingy. Maybe not Obake. Not a mare. There's not an option though. Take the thingies. I have tried Demonologist, yes. I will be doing that when it comes out. Uh, two days from now? Can you give us a sign? Oh, another one. And another fingerprint. Might be. This might be one of these four. Looks like it's a poltergeist. This guy's going kind of crazy. Oh. Breaker. Turning off the breaker as well, not a gin. What the hell? Poltergeist Banshee Miling? It just turned on the television again, but it couldn't turn it actually on because the breaker was off. Oh, it comes out tomorrow. Let's go. You can play it. We'll probably play that tomorrow. Are they going to add more maps? Because I, I, there was only one map when I played the demo, which is pretty interesting to have a demo for a ghost hunting game. You can figure out mining during a hunt. Yes, you can. There's gonna, they're going to be way more quiet than most other ghosts. Right, so we just want to get a hunt now and we get set up a poltergeist uh like strip i think over here it's gonna be three maps oh we're getting a hunt gotta listen i'm hearing nothing hello you gonna come out there how do you know it's a hunt because the door closed? Very quiet. Maybe it's a miling. Uh, nothing? <laughs> oh. Is he up? He's upstairs. I see the lights blinking. 
Well then, I guess no ghost, huh? This could be a miling. I mean, you can't really hear the footsteps inside of the cabin if you're not in the cabin yourself. So... Let's see. You have to try and hide inside the cabin, which is pretty risky. You give us a sign. Also, didn't I literally just smudge it? Right before this hunt? Oh. Hi there. It's a very active ghost. We should have a paramic. Get this for Banshee again. Can you give me a sign? Uh, insane pink. Thank you for the thousand biddies. Oh. Dude. What the hell? I love the red light ghost of it. That's two in one game. Oh, here we go. Hello? Something up there. Oh, he's coming. You come out of the damn cabin? I'm not coming in there. Not coming out. Insane pig, think of the thousand biddies. What the hell? <laughs> or the, 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 the thousand biddies and the ten gift subs. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? What the hell? Is this a miling? What kind of madness is here? Is this? The 10 bits and the thousand gift subs. Excuse me? Alright, I'm not gonna close the doors this time. Because we wanted to get out of the room. So we can actually hear properly, because stuff gets a little wonky if it's in the, in the cabin. Alright, come out of there. Chase me. We'll play some... Oh, here we go. Oh boy. It's very fast. That was kind of normal. Sounds normal. Definitely not a polter. Or miling. Could be a polter. Okay, so it's I guess it's pair mic time now. Oh You were still going? Fuck! I thought I was done! Holy shit! Maybe it is a miling! <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait. It was behind there and we couldn't hear it at all? Wait, excuse me. Wait a minute. It was right there and it was completely silent? Hmm, I'm not sure. That was very sneaky. Okay. Um, we did all the objectives. Now we need to figure out... The... Banshee. It's gonna be hard to get some, uh... Some paramic activity though. Yeah, that was very close. What the fuck? Right, give me a scream instantly again. It can't be two banshees in a row, right? That's not how that works. You can't do that. That's ridiculous. Probably should. I mean, we just smudged it. Alter moments. Same thing. Thank you for oh, oh Jesus! Five more gift subs. Thank you. What we could do is do this. We could set up like a bunch of stuff in a row, and then see if it starts throwing this when it's going after us. The rule out poltergeist. Guys, stop rolling. 
Oh. Oh, uh, it's a fast coast. What the fuck? It's wait, it's a gin that turn off the breaker? Oh my god, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did what I th am I gonna die in here? Oh Am I dead? Is it a Dio? Is it a mimic? It's a rev? It's a mimic! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? That's amazing. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, I love this game. What the hell? <laughs> there you go. So that's a that's a that's a revenant right there. And before it definitely was not a revenant. So it's gotta be a mimic. The orbs were downstairs. I didn't see them. All right. Well, that was that was two really cool runs in a row. <laughs> Happy meal. Thank you for the 12 months. Okay. Well, we got still got two more left to go. High school and Sunny Meadows. Nice. <laughs> the hell. That's why Mimic is one of the coolest ghosts in my opinion, because you just never know what you're gonna get. That was really nice. There you go. That was a Mimic. Luckily, the what the fuck? The money. 600, 600 and I didn't even take any photos basically. I mean, it took a ghost photo, I think, alone. That was 60 minutes, so. It changed ghost room much? It changed ghost room twice. 12 abilities? You okay, it changed ghost type 12 times. Uh, all right, well, let's go. I think we're gonna do Sunny Meadows last. Let's do high school now. We have a Jack Young, Crucifix, Ghost Event, and 25% sanity. Uh, I'm gonna definitely start with this. We're going in blind. Did I enjoy RE4 Remake? It was very fun. It was a very good game. I can highly recommend it. Hello? We haven't done ghost gambling in a while. I mean, we haven't played m much Phasmo on stream in general. I've mostly been doing the... The weeklies off stream because they're like a one off one hour video. I don't want to dedicate a whole stream to that. That's a lucky find. Just give me give me like a 0 0.7. Just tease me a little bit. Come on. Instant scream again. Incoming. You miss asylum? You mean the old asylum? Oh. Another door. I don't like a door. That 1.0 was me turning on the lights, by the way. That's the thing as well. Because you can't... You don't have a... What? I thought I heard a light switch. Because you don't have a cursed possession, finding, or you don't have any cursed possession, the, finding the ghost room is going to be much harder. Because that's one of the main ways I find the ghost room on big maps, is just using the cursed possession, because it really helps. can hear the the crickets water i don't hear any water sure i keep hearing throws but then i don't get anything on the paramax so i guess i'm crazy hello anyone want to call me on the phone no one you need to do the new 15 times, even though they didn't change much besides just redoing the balance. Nothing. Nothing at all. Hello? You just ring the phone, please. Do something. Nerf to the paramic? No, no, no. I mean, it's pretty short range. Alright. 
Hi there. Is that sounded on the same floor? To the right? I didn't take a pill this time, so it's probably not a demon or a thay, because those would have already hunted. That should be a shade. I could die here, actually. It's pretty risky. Oh, 0 0.5. Perfect. Is... Oh. Is it this room? Hello? Anyone here? It's time to- oh! Tricky, huh? Normal speed. Maybe a minuscule bit faster. But definitely not a Rev Moroi. I mean, Moroi technically, I guess. The O. No Raichu because we dropped the Paramike there. So we would have heard Raichu. No Thay, no Demon most likely. No Twins. Need to need to take some pills because this is not gonna go well otherwise. Now the toilet is like the only good hiding spot on the big maps. I think it was in the room that I was checking. It sounded like it came right from here. We'll leave our stuff here. Don't you dare hunt while I'm leaving. I'm gonna be dead. I'll do it. Let's go. Okay. What's my least favorite map? I think it's Camp Woodwind. Because I think... I really love Maple Lodge, but I really dislike Camp Woodwind. Because it feels like a discount Maple Lodge that only has all the annoying parts without all the good parts. Because Maple Lodge is so cool because this like, the cabin. The cabin is such a fun area. It's so unique compared to all the other maps. Alright, we're gonna grab... We're gonna first of all take... I think just two pills. Can we even take a third one? We can't think. Okay, so we were really low sanity there. Probably not a demon. And then we grab all of this. Would have been this too small. But this is very small. And there's like no good hiding spots at all. It's just like the... It's like by far the hardest small map without... And you get like normal reward as if it was like a super fast small map. I really like the farmhouses myself. I think they're very immersive. Otherwise, like, if we didn't have the farmhouses, we would only have, like, street houses as the small maps. I think they're kind of necessary to create, like, more spooky small map experiences. Uh, hi there. In here. Oh, that would have sounded different. What's a normal door? Is this door? No fingies this time, unless Obake. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Are you grandma? Where are you? Are you here? Not grandma. Smiling glitch again. That was so stupid. <laughs> Orbeez, unless it's not this room. Maybe it's a hallway ghost. I don't, they, they made that impossible, right? It shouldn't be a hallway ghost. You give us a sign. You ring the phone. I'll get some stuff. Just need two dots and an EMF. Yeah, I could roam into the hallway. I love this game so much. It's super fun, especially when you start out and you don't know everything and you're like... So everything is so mysterious. Like, I still... It's cool that this game holds up so well, even at, like, the highest level of play. 
especially with like the weekly thing that they've added the insanity mode that they've added because you could set up this this challenge i could have set up by myself for the longest time with custom mode but it feels much more fun that it's an official challenge like it's an official mode that makes it feel more important at least to me what is the hardest part about insanity mode i think it might be the roaming the low sanity plus roaming is really hard Level 1 Insanity Challenge. That's a good one. We haven't done that yet. I need to write that down. That's a good idea. Can I check the fuse? I could check if it's on. We turned it on. Alright. Please these. Give my flashlight. No light. Show lights. You give us a sign. Are you still here? Hello? What's your name? Jack Young. Jack? Can you give us a sign, Jack? You should add like a spinning globe animation for the ghost. Jack? Hello? What is this class? It's physics, but it's also a world map. There's also a music book. There's just everything here. It's also geography. It's also a, a dictionary between Spanish and English. What the fuck is this class? <laughs> and it's a dictionary between Russian and English? <laughs> it's everything. There's no rhyme or reason to this class. Can you give us a sign? It's the free asset class. It's social studies of science book right here. What the fuck? <laughs> What even is that? Carl Casey? All right, you suck, my friend. Bloody hell, but every class is like this. You're doing absolutely nothing. Oh, whatever then, I guess. We... Oh. Writing? Holy shit. Let's go. That's insanely lucky. Okay, so we have a right writing ghost. And we already ruled out four of these, basically. It's a shade. <laughs> Is it? It can be more, right? Spirit, poltergeist, mirror, miling, shade. Probably shade. This is so shy. This ghost does love books, yeah. Tanglewood is just the best map. Yeah, I love Tanglewood. 100% of shade. I mean, it literally didn't do a single thing while we were in there. But then again... No, wait a minute. It can't be a shade. It cannot be a shade. You know why? When it hunted, I went back. I took three pills. And I couldn't take the fourth pill. Which means that my sanity was between 35 and 40. Because three pills is 60. Is 60 sanity so it, it gave me so it brought me up to at least 95 percent sanity which means my sanity was between 35 and 30 and 40 which means i was out of the range of a shade so it actually cannot be a shade because otherwise i would have been able to take the fourth bill which i couldn't I, I i physically couldn't take it which meant i was at 100 percent so it's not okay uh it's gonna be spirit poltergeist mare or miling which it's definitely not a poltergeist probably <laughs> Uh, let's grab... What do we do? Smiling? Grab this, just in case. Then we grab... Um, I guess we could have another for the spirit. Just two smudge sticks, I think, is the best. Because we... I mean, we could take a paramic for the miling. We could take a paramic for the miling. But the thing is, if we don't have two smudge sticks, we're gonna be very... It's gonna be very bad. Oh, we already have a paramic in there anyway. We already brought one. Hey, four. What's up? You start at 75, yes. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't change what happened there. 
That doesn't change the facts. Not turning off the breaker. I'm gonna leave this here. It doesn't turn off the light, nor has it roamed out of this room. It very much feels like it's not a mare. Can you give us a sign. I'm gonna leave these here. Where's my paramic? Over here. Mares can't interact with the telephone, yes. Just a regular spirit. Why are you the shyest ghost of all time? Also, thank you for the five gifts. What the hell? Hey there, come on. Ghost. You're doing nothing. You're the shyest bitch in town. What? And salsa in your eyes. What a name indeed. Uh, you could have fooled me that you weren't a shade. I mean, I'm assuming it's not. Based on that math, it cannot be a shade, right? Because if you can take three pills only, it must be between 35 and 40, which means unless it was right at 35, no way. Because that would have meant that during that whole hunt, we didn't lose any sanity, which is impossible. It has to be. It has to be a normal ghost. Can you give us a sign? I mean, this is like very much feels like a shade, but the math doesn't lie indeed. They can only hunt at under 35. Oh, we got air mic sound. Can you give me a sign? By the way, I saw a lot of people ask about Cyber Rat. There's a video coming up tonight, if all goes well. Can you give us a sign? Much for activity. I'm gonna... You can't test for spirit right now. Because we're not low enough sanity. I love this arrow. Point fire extinguisher. <laughs> so we couldn't see. But you start with 75% sanity. That doesn't... Why, why does that change the fact? Can you explain to me why that changes the math that I explained? Because it doesn't at all. And I don't know why you think that. Can you give us a sign? Because the all I did is take three pills, which brought me up to so much that I couldn't take the other one, which brought means it brought me up to 95 to 100, which means before I took the pills, I must have been at 35 to 40, which it doesn't matter that I started at 75. It doesn't change anything. What the fuck? Like you, you, I would say shade if that didn't just happen. Oh, it turned, it turned off the light? It turned off a light. Uh-huh. Was that a normal light switch? Did it just turn it off like normal? It did? Man. You can't try that. Oh. What is this? It touched a light switch and then this so close together. What the hell? What is this? Island poltergeist? That's weird. Can you give us a sign again? The ghost has literally done three things, four things total. It has written in a book. Oh no, it also touched the door, I think, at one point. It has rang the phone twice, and it has turned off the light. That's all. Can you do something? The crazy shy ghost. I'm gonna turn this on just to make it not... If it's like a mirror, it's not gonna roam into the hallway. I'm gonna turn on all the lights next to it. Just to annoy the shit out of you. It could be a mare, and then it's not hunting right now because all the lights are on. What the fuck is the light switch? Excuse me, does this one just not have- It doesn't have lights?! <laughs> what is this madness? There is no lights.
Can you give us a sign? Wait, like, I, I can understand how the... Wait, what? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Wait, what? Like, I can understand how the lights would break, but that doesn't mean the, the light switch is gonna be gone. Did someone pull out the light switch? Excuse me? Was there never a light in that room, even when this was a functioning class? That doesn't make any sense. Can you give us a sign? Can you do something? What the fuck? Is this a mare? Is it a mare? And did this turn off the lights? Maybe it likes this. You like the lights off? You like it in the darkness? Can you do something, please? Something at all? You shy bitch? That's crazy. Can you give us a sign? Uh, I threw something. Unless that was a double sound for me. Maybe. Can I reproduce that? Normal speed. Run! Doesn't sound like miling. I think this has got to be a mare. There was nothing happening at all, and then we turn... Wait, this light's still on, too. And then we turn off the lights, and it immediately hunts. But we have to smudge, though, at the same time. Hello? Where is it? Oh, there. No, oh, you piece of garbage. You piece of shit. Fuck you, naked man. Okay, um, a good smudge here. We just need one sign. Could you do a ghost event so I can smudge you? Do something. Cause I don't trust that we're low enough sanity to get like Never mind. We are low enough sanity. Okay. So let's smudge here. Smudge at 2330. Okay, this has to be a mare. <laughs> we need to keep the lights off though. Well, let's see. We just, I'm just gonna rule out, because this cannot... If this is a poltergeist, I'm gonna lose my mind. Like, this cannot be a poltergeist. It has done literally nothing. I mean, there's not many items in that room, though. But it could have definitely thrown the book around. So now we're... Okay. We just stopped hunting in... Like 25 seconds, it could start hunting again. Immediately, almost. Uh, it's definitely not a miling. It's too loud. Uh, oh, it's doing stuff now. Okay, is there items here? Okay, all these items are stuck to the. Are you kidding me? Is this a case of bad map design? Oh, Jesus Christ. You are all of a sudden extremely active. Photo, photo, photo. Where's my photo cam? Is it here? Can I bring one? Oh, I probably dropped it over here at the book. No, there it is. God damn it. Okay. So a mare could already hunt in the next five seconds. But any ghost could hunt except the spirit. And okay, let's bring this. I'm going to drop this here and completely forget about it. Take this. There you go. I'm bringing you offering. Alter offering. Uh, what the hell? You can pick that up? I did not expect that to work. I don't understand. This room has so many items in it, but this other room doesn't have any at all. Is this a spirit? Oh, it just threw something immediately. 
Wait, maybe it's a poltergeist. Excuse me. All of a sudden it's doing things? Wait a minute. Uh, it's actually a polter. It's immediately going crazy. There you go. Can you give us a sign? There's another smudge. I remembered. Oh, or touch. No hunts yet. Weirdly enough, a, a spirit can hunt in the next three seconds. Can you give us a sign? You're a spirit. What the fuck? You're acting like all the ghosts that are options. You're acting like a shade, a mayor, a polter, and a spirit. Uh, that was an insane throw. Excuse me. What the fuck? Okay, we smudged it like 27 here. I mean, it feels like a bolter, but at the same time, it's hunting like a spirit. I don't know. Let's see. Bolter. A hybrid ghost. A rare hybrid ghost. A little bit of both. A little bit of column A and a little bit of column B. Okay, we done? Alright, I have no more smudge, so we need to be careful now. Can you keep doing your polter stuff? Is it... I mean... If the shoe fits... Oh, baby! No! That's so unlucky. It is throwing a lot now. We just need to rule out spirit. Like, I I would go with poltergeist here. Because technically, the poltergeist ability or the weakness says this, right? With nothing to throw, the poltergeist become powerless. Technically. Okay, so a poltergeist could hunt now. All right, let's go. Wait, it's probably a polter? But it could also just be a mare. Ah! <laughs> what do we think? So it didn't do anything. It didn't do any, it's definitely not a spirit. So we're done with spirit, it's definitely not a miling. So it's a poltergeist or a mare. It didn't do anything until we put items in the room. But then again, that's the same, that would have been the same for mare and poltergeist. Poltergeist and mare would have had the exact same thing happen there. I feel like because the mayor also would have not thrown anything until I put items in there. You can't do a mega pile, pile. but that that one throw was pretty far, right? The one throw from the thing, this one. Where the fuck did it go? Oh, you threw it out here. Like it threw all the way from over here to over there. Something like that. And it's never it's never turned off the breaker. It's why is it is there some kind of thing with the poltergeist that it gets more active when there's more items in the room? I don't know. I've never noticed that. It must be like a hidden thing. Like it feels like that would make oh god. Feels like that makes sense, but I'm never... So it, it hunted again immediately with the lights on again? I don't know, man. Yeah, it's about sanity as well. That that you have... Um, like, the lower your sanity, the more the ghost does. 
I don't know, man. It's like a 50-50. Because it was really acting like a mare before. But I feel like it would have changed favorite room if it was a mare and we had the light on in there for that long. But then again, it did go all the way out into the hallway to turn off the light. That was real weird. And it wasn't a ghost event because it gave us a photo, right? So it must have been just a regular light switch touch. Which feels like a mare just being like, fuck you. Try the poltergeist cocaine line. That's a yeah, maybe we do that. Maybe we just set up poltergeist drugs. I think we set up the poltergeist drugs. So we're gonna do this. We need to go fast here though. Uh there's not that many items here, which is really annoying. Okay, we need to get more stuff. Fuck. Uh, it's throwing something. Thank you. There's barely anything in any of these fucking rooms, man. I guess this should already be enough. This should be enough, right? We just need another smudge stick. I could die. Don't hunt. Okay. So now we need a smudge. And then we set up. We, we just let it walk over that. But it, I don't think it's long enough to like significantly notice it. I wish it could make it longer. Yo, homie, think about the nine months at Star Sapphire. Think about the 12 months. You can take in two. So we can do two tests. I mean, this is more like a regular insanity mode run. The previous ones have been <laughs> kind of strange. Hey, Psycho, what's up? How you doing? You just got home. That explains why I was having a conversation with myself in RDMs. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> okay. We need to set up more... More items. <sighs> Jeebus. You can kind of see what happens here. Okay, let's just go. No, this is... This is specifically for the poltergeist. It didn't throw any other things. We'll see when we get over there. I mean, originally we thought it was a mare, but then the poltergeist became a, li a little bit more likely because it never did anything until we put items in there. But then again, that would be the same for every ghost. We a monster. Thank you for the two months. Okay. It literally didn't throw anything. Are you? This can't be a poltergeist. It has to be a mayor. If that's a poltergeist, I'm. I want my money back. I'm. I'm getting the fuck out of here. It literally threw one of them. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's no way. There's no fucking way. All right. Well, that was a tough one. Hopefully, it's correct. You never know with insanity mode. You always. I've been bamboozled so many times, spend like 20 minutes or maybe even 30 minutes in a mission, do everything right, you think at least, and then you just get like a Yure anyway. But if the spirit can't be bugged. Alright, here we go. This better be right. Give it to me. Let's go! <laughs> Woo! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That was a tough one. That was 32 minutes. Favorite room changes zero. I know that's the one part I don't understand about this one. Favorite room changes zero, even though we had the light on in there for so long. I don't know why it didn't leave the 
the room. That's weird. It turned only one light off. All right. Well, there you go. Now we have only one room, one room, one map left, which is going to be Sunny Meadows. Uh, so far, pretty good, honestly. So far, I mean, the two first runs were uh, very unique. This run was more, more regular. Let's see what Sunny Meadows has in store. Alrighty, we have a Mario Karuk. Uh, I need my... This. We should also do this, for sure. Let's see. Hello. There's only a few spots for the breaker. That can be really annoying. What's the challenge? I'm always, I, I know this is like a meme at this point. I'm always confused. Like, how did you get to the stream? Did you, like, I swear when you got to this stream, you had to click on the title of the stream. Did you perchance decide to read that said title? Because if you did, you wouldn't have asked the question that you just asked me. Oh. Like, how did you get here? I'm genuinely confused. Like, did you click on a notification? Like, there must be something going on here. Or maybe I'm just overestimating the human species. Okay, well, it's definitely here. Like, because on YouTube, people don't do that. I don't get people in my YouTube comments asking me what the challenge is. Because <laughs> they read the damn title. At least YouTube knows how to do it. <laughs> no, the notification. No, the notification wouldn't have the stream title in this case. All right. Well, that's a uh, fast. We found the ghost room very fast. Let's go. Yeah, I start the video with an explanation. I know they watch it like from start to finish, so it's easier for YouTube. But still, I'm not. I'm not letting you off the hook yet. This is. This is easy. Uh, there's a ghost blowing out candles here. Not seeing any orbs. No orbies. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? It shouldn't be... Because I think the candles don't prevent your spirit box from working. Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm getting lost. Lost in the sauce. Still says the title underneath when you watch. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's like the age of Googling. I mean, to be fair... To, to, to put YouTube on blast a little bit as well. I often get recommendations in my comment section of games that I've already played. And I feel like that's a similar situation. You could have just Googled. Or you could have just literally... You're on the website. Just put it in the search bar. And you would have found it. And it's even... The most people, the, the, the most times I get a poor suggestion, like, it's not even in the YouTube comments section itself. It's people that went through the entire trouble to join the Discord to send me, a, like, a message. Those people mo are, are most likely to, to give me a suggestion of a game that I've already played. Like, it happens more often than I get a normal suggestion. Can you give us a sign? Like, you went through all the trouble... Just to suggest me something I've already played. You're being pretty active, but a little, a little sneaky. Oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't have a, an EMF. Don't have the breaker on, which could lead to disaster if we get caught in the dark. During, uh... During a hunt. But the YouTube comment section recently has been killing it. They've been... Amazing. Let's, uh... I think I'm leaving this. This is gonna be... 
Fine, we'll grab motion sensor. I'll grab a crucifix. Um, it's just that sometimes, I mean, same thing. YouTube comments always, they tend to be a little unhinged sometimes, but they're rare. I think YouTube comments get more slack than, than they should. I think people, it's like, it's like how I talk about Twitter and Twitter being like always bad, no matter what they do. That's how people often talk about YouTube comments. Although YouTube comments, like, it's full of bots and spam, which is annoying. Constantly, I now get this new one. I don't know why they target my comment section. I get... It's such an elaborate scam of comments, and they take so long. They never get through because I see them before they get to the final part of their scam. It's like this scam. You've probably seen it on people that don't, like, actively moderate their comments, where... It's like this one message. It starts with like, I am so happy to be making 250,000 a week. God bless. And then someone will go underneath it. Can you please share with me the knowledge of how you are making 250,000 a week? And then it goes, it's really easy. You got to invest when the, when the stock is low and you got, or no, no, no. They don't say that. It's really easy. You got to do crypto investing, but make sure not to do it yourself because it's really hard to do. And then the other guy will go, wait, what do you recommend to me then? And then it goes, oh, funny, you should ask. I recommend obvious scammer name, point up emoji, name of the fucking channel is like, like circles with like numbers in it. <laughs> like, add me on Telegram or some bullshit and people still fall for it. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Can you give me a sign? <laughs> it's like cyber rat. <laughs> there are strap accounts. Yeah, there was uh, there was like a time. At least now they seem to have it kind of under control. But there was a time when you would just get full on like uh, naked ladies in the comment section. They would just be like fully naked profile pictures like i thought there was some kind of uh, moderation on those but apparently not until they did it recently it was crazy okay uh, i already have a thing in there i'm gonna grab the motion tester now this ghost is weird it's a weirdo ghost Or there's like those comments like on every single video that are like, at least I don't get them as, as of now, that are like, uh, X channel, Markiplier is shit, my videos are way better. And it's like, this reply, like they're just replying under every single comment. And then I think they hope that people click on their channel. It's like rage baiting or something. Like, I don't know what the end goal is in that situation. Like, are you... You hope people click on your videos to like see if they're actually better <laughs> like what's the plan there can you give us a sign i don't understand it's rage i guess where are you clip that markiplier is shit <laughs> give me a sign can you give us a sign can you show yourself can you do something can you give us a sign yeah it's like because I can understand the one that I do understand is like the ones that are that are kind of smart in a way that are like um, the, the you don't know the full situation click this for the full clip and then it's like a YouTube link and it's just a link to some random videos like at least those I understand because they're like instantly getting clicks it's like instant clickbait obviously when as soon as someone clicks on that video they're gonna be like what this is a completely different video what is this what are you talking about and then they're gonna click off the video like it's not gonna lead to anything but i can at least see that work can you do something else you're gonna be a gorio you're kind of
kind of shy. I did take one pill, but still. Oreo moment. Let me get that from here. Good die here. I mean, TikTok is a whole different beast. There's like, currently, it's same with YouTube, with shorts. Currently, if you look at any random country, there's like a 99.9% .9 chance that their most watched YouTuber will be like some fucked up clip or fucked up shorts channel. That's just like, you won't believe what happens at the end. Watch till the end. I didn't expect the last one. It's like, there's the, if you check out, I'm not calling on any names, but it's easy to find. Like, I think the most watched Dutch channel is literally that. Every single title is the exact same. It's like, I didn't expect, I didn't expect the last one. Wait for it. <laughs> Watch till the end. Or no, no, I think that one is is the complete opposite. It's like uh, it's like reverse psychology. It's like, don't watch till the end. Don't watch the last one. <laughs> like I swear to God, am I gonna die here? Let me look at social blade. Social blade. Country. I'm gonna die here. Uh, top ten from U.S. and then I just swap over. Country. Select by country. Netherlands. I remember the. I was looking at this because I was in. I was curious. Here, this the most watched Dutch channel. Uh, can I mute this? There. Can you get? L let me read some of these titles for you. Let me read some of these titles. Uh, here we go. Can you guess the last one? You will never guess what's the what this is. Only boys will understand this video. Can you guess what this is? Did you expect that? And there's like, I'm not getting, the, you're not getting the full message here. Because there's like about 17 emojis at the end of every sentence. You will never guess the last one. Don't watch the end of this video. You will 100% fail this. You'll fail to guess the last one. Did you expect that? Don't try this at home. You will never expect this. Don't watch the end. Don't watch the last one. Don't watch the end. Can you guess what this is? Oh my god, the last item. What is that? Don't watch the end. What was that last item? It's always the same. It's the same title every time. <laughs> and they have millions of views. I'm so mad. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> So watch the last one. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. All right. Uh, what the fuck is this ghost? By the way, we got a little, we got a little lost in the sauce here. There's no writing yet, right? No, no writing. Is this an Unreal and it's just the saddest Unreal of all time because there's like infinite candles here? What is happening? <laughs> My sanity should be super low. Yeah, it's blown out every single candle, but it's still not hunting. Oh, hi there. Need to check for that. You won't believe what this ghost did. Don't watch the last one. <laughs> Don't watch till the end. <laughs> And you give us a sign. <clears throat> New clips idea. Every clip is gonna be like that. Uh, this is really weird. Like, this is the shyest ghost ever. Is it a shade? But it's like so active. It's not an Oni, right? Because we've got an airball. A riding shade. Can you give us a sign? What the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> it blew out another candle. Uh, can you do anything? Is this a Gorio? It's like a Gorio or some writing ghost. How would we even do Gorio at this point? We need to like break the door out of its hinges. 
So we can see the dots through the doorway. There. Maybe like this. Hello? You give us a sign? It blew out something and what was... Wait, it blew out something over there, I think. What? Walking back and forth right there and it's not doing that. This is weird. Oh my god, it is a Gorio. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Fuck you, you piece of shit. You saw that? There was dots in the thing. Oh, wow. Alrighty. That worked out. I mean, honestly, we did a lot better than I expected. We had some very unique goes. I think I want to try... I really love Insanity Mode. I've been having a lot of fun just playing Insanity Mode and uploading the experience. Because it's, it's so much harder to play this way. It's led to some... Like, really difficult runs where I, like, actually die sometimes because the ghosts are so unpredictable. Oh, that should be a Gorio unless it was some sneaky bullshit going on. Uh, which explains why we got nothing to happen at all because it was just a Gorio the whole time. Which, Gorio will always have dots, so you just have to look for it. You gotta step out of the room to see it. There you go! Was a Gorio? Well, that was all of the big maps in Insanity Mode, and I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what else you want to see. Um, I think I want to do a starter items only Insanity Mode challenge as well. Uh, and we're obviously going to do more weekly challenges every week. I think I'm going to keep the weekly challenge for sure. Uh, but let me know what else you want to see in terms of Phasmo. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you liked the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash Click the link in the description down below. Thanks so much. I'll see you around. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>